welcome to another episode of You Can Do STEM. My name is Adriana. I'm a first year PhD student at the bioengineering program at Georgia Tech. Um, and in this video, I am going to share a little bit of my experience, uh, how did I get to where I am right now, as well as share some tips along the way to make the most out of your college years. This video is part of a series of videos that we're doing as part of our channel. So every other person in our group has shared their story. So I encourage you to take a look at them and see uh, what path they took to get where they are right now. All right, so let's begin. I was born in Puerto Rico, uh, an island in the Caribbean. Some things that I liked to do when I was growing up was going to the beach, being with my friends, enjoying the beautiful weather that we have down there. I was born and raised in Bayamon, Puerto Rico. I did my high school in Colegio Marista. Um, and I would say it all goes back to my high school, my high school years. That was a time where I was discovering what I liked, what subjects to, at school did I enjoy the most. And I would say this biology, chemistry, and math were the ones that brought up to my attention. Um, it was very interesting for me, math, since I was, I think, very young. I just really enjoy solving problems, solving, um, it, it just was just like a puzzle to me. And I remember helping out my classmates during class and like tutoring younger kids on how to like solve math problems ever. I love that. And sophomore year in you know, high school, I took my first chemistry class, um, advanced level. And it was great. I really enjoyed it, especially the part when I realized that everything that we have around us is, you know, it's composed of a chemical matter and the chemical reactions, how the moles interact with each other, or how do you mix two different substances to get a new substance, and all the calculations that was behind it. It was really fun. I, it was it for me. I really enjoy biology. It's just something to do with the human body and how how we can study what goes on within the body. That was something that was really amazing to me. So during my junior year of high school, my parents encouraged me to do a pre-college program in order to decide what I wanted to do when I graduated high school. So I did this program called LEAD. It was college campuses and you had the opportunity for three weeks to live there and experience what it would be like to be a college student living in the dorms, eating at the dining hall. Um, what was really important about that program is the opportunity to be outside of my comfort zone and be ready to ask for help. Um, so I did my undergrad at the University of Puerto Rico at Maya West campus. Um, which is like two and a half hours from my home on the west side of the island. I did chemical engineering. I really enjoyed all the biological sciences, so I wanted to incorporate math and science. So I wanted to, to go instead of medical field to biomedical engineering. Unfortunately, my school didn't have that. So what I did was go into chemical engineering. And since I really enjoyed chemistry, I thought it would be the path for me. I wanted to discover everything that could be available for me. So when I graduated college, I had more or less of an idea of what was it for me, right? So the first thing I did was join a student organization, um, which is called SHIP, which, which is Society of Hispanic Professional Engineers, where we had the opportunity to be in a group with engineers or engineering students from all different majors and it was a great chance like a first opportunity to step up and see what other people are doing what is there to do it was the first place where i learned what a resume was um how to look for a job how to look for internships and i saw what other older students were doing and i decided i wanted to be proactive in my undergraduate years and do something about it so, so during my first year it was hard for me to get an internship since I didn't have any previous experience with anything related to my major or anything like that. So I decided to go and create my opportunity and started 
we were like Googling what different opportunities there were for engineering students, first year, chemical engineering, until I found this thing called RU, which is research experience for undergraduates, which are different programs across the different universities of the United States um, that are summer opportunities for students that are interested in research or interested in exploring what research, research is about. And it's all about different majors. So um, when I discovered what was that, I started looking for RUs that were looking for engineering students. I decided to apply. Um, and I'm gonna say that it was really challenging for me at the beginning applying for this. So you need um, for an essay stating why do you want to why do you want to attend? Uh, what are your long term career plans? Why would this program be beneficial to your development? Stuff like that. You also need your letters of recommendation. And me as a first year, I had no idea what I was doing. Um, but I looked up in the internet. I wrote my essay. And I submitted one of the most challenging parts also was asking for letters of recommendation since I didn't have any previous experience. I asked, I asked my chemistry professor and my English professor. Um, so I asked for them and I submitted all my materials and around, I don't remember, spring semester. I realized I got in, so I got accepted to the NNIN program, so National Nanotechnology Infrastructure Network RU program at Cornell University. So they have different sites, but this site is specifically West Cornell University. So I had the opportunity to go there um, my first summer as an undergraduate student, um, where I got exposed for the first time to what research is about, how to make a presentation, how to make a poster, like a scientific poster. Um, I was working in Dr. Abe Struk, Dr. Struk's uh, group, where we worked with microtensiometers, where so micro tiny sensors that we made at the nanoscale facility. So that's why we had to wear all those jumpsuits. Um, nanoscale nanoscale device that is able of measuring the water amount in plants. So it was focused on agricultural, um, even though that wasn't the area that I wanted to research on, as I mentioned, I really like biology, I really like bioengineering, but it got me my first experience to, be, to get out there, explore, try new things, talk to other people, see what they were doing, um, how their experience is different from mine, learn from all that. And it's really great. It's a paid summer internship, so you get money um, to do research and to learn and to explore. So I thought it was a win-win opportunity, and that was great. So also during my first year, I wanted to get involved in research. I wanted to discover what research was about. I went to my chemical engineering website at my school and started reading up on all these different profiles of these different professors I've never taken class with, but um, I wanted to I wanted to explore and see what research was about. So I drafted an email and said, "Are you looking for a student volunteer? I want to learn, be in the lab, be be in that experience." Unfortunately, um, one professor in my department called Dr. Jorge Almodovar where he worked with tissue engineering and biomaterials, something that really called to my attention when I was looking for different research opportunities. Um, I wrote to him, unfortunately he said yes, so I joined his research group and I stayed on the same research group since, since my freshman year until I graduated. Um, it was a great experience as well. Um, so I came back from Cornell, that was an awesome experience. And as part of that program, they had a second year program for the people that participated at the NNIN RU. If they were interested, they could apply for a second year international RU program. And I was like, why not? <laughs> so I, I applied to the international program and I got in. So uh, so my second summer experience, I went to Japan. So it was in Scuba, Japan. 
I went to the National Institute for Material Science where it was a group of 10 of us from the US that attended where I did my research with Dr. Shen's group where I studied um, how the cell spreading area influence on gold nanoparticles on the uptake of gold nanoparticles so it was my first time that I was doing bio-related research so it was my first time that I had the opportunity to culture cells um, be in a lab that did other types of experiments cell related or bio-related, biogenome related and it was a great opportunity especially to be in an international setting um, I had the opportunity to learn different experiences from the people there so how their lab was different from my lab during the weekends I had the opportunity to go out um, explore different parts of Japan with my with my peers and it was definitely a, a great experience um, at the end, uh, it was also, you had to create a poster, you had to do a presentation. So I did my research experiences. I realized I really enjoyed research. At this time, I was just maintaining my time. I was still working at my research uh, group back home, so I was still active with the research environment. But I really wanted to figure out what is why this industry involved. Um, so I went to the school fair, to a career fair with my resume, with my experiences, and I was fortunate to get an internship offer from ExxonMobil, the chemical and refinery company, um, oil and gas, and it was something very chemi, very chemical engineering focused, so it was very different from all my other experiences and I wanted to try out something something totally different to see what was it about so again tip please step out of your comfort zone that's the most important thing I was working in the environmental department um, and I really enjoyed that experience it was definitely different from what I different from what I was uh, used to I decided that the oil and gas industry wasn't for me but I could give industry another try. So I wanted to do something related to another type of industry that chemical engineers go to, which is pharmaceuticals. So I got an offer from Merck and I accepted the offer to work at do an internship in their West Point plant at Pennsylvania. There I was working in the pharmaceutical commercialization technology team. So in that opportunity, I had the experience of being more related to what research and development is in an industry setting. Even though I wasn't part of the R&D side, I had the opportunity to explore within the company um, all different opportunities for R&D in industry. I really enjoyed that experience, but I still felt very connected to research and very connected to an academia or university setting. Um, where I had the opportunity to explore what I wanted and I wanted to become an independent researcher and learn new things to try to solve problems. So I wanted to explore what graduate school was about. So so the people that you, you meet at this, during this program, during these internships are so valuable. All the connections you get from meeting new people that are doing things that you want to do, it's so important to have them around because whenever you have a question, whenever you want to find guidance or mentorship on how to do these things, they are there for you. So establishing connections with them is so, so much important. So um, through one of these connections, I found out that schools, um, universities, they have, sometimes they have, some universities have programs for students that are interested of exploring what graduate school is and what their graduate school, or what graduate, or what their graduate school at the university provides. So this program usually offer travel scholarships um, for students that are really interested in just learning about graduate school. So I had the opportunity to apply to these programs. So one of the programs I attended was the University of Michigan Engineering Symposium. I'm gonna put the link down below if that's something you're interested in. I had a great time motivated me to apply to that engineering school for graduate school. Um, and I also attended this program called FOCUS program at Georgia Tech. 
which was an awesome experience, very different from uh, the other experience I've had. So this focus program is geared towards minority students that are interested in pursuing graduate school. So they bring you to Georgia Tech um, and you learn about the graduate program and also I'm going to post that thing down below as well. The time came, I actually in Michigan and Georgia Tech uh, were two schools that I applied and I got in and then I decided to come to Georgia Tech. So I'm here now and I really enjoy this. I'm currently doing my second semester at Georgia Tech. Um, um, my work focuses on biomaterials and tissue engineering and tissue regeneration for regenerative medicine. Um, those were the things that I am really interested in. I hope you liked this video. Um, listening to my experience and listening to the different paths, path that I created for myself, um, all the different experiences that I look out for, how being proactive is very important in order for you to choose what you really want to do. And the earlier you start, the better it is. Um, another tip that I mentioned at the beginning, get involved in student organizations that are able to develop your professional skills, your leadership skills, um, and be involved with people that like what you do, that are like-minded people. I hope you enjoyed this video and check out the other videos we have available for you in our channel, The Different Path, and if you have any questions, feel free to email them to me. I'm here to help you, empower, or inspire you to go to the place you need to be. Bye, and see you next time because you can do STEM.